Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 50 likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop us up. So, Jonathan Lecco has finally left the club. It's not a loan spell, it's a permanent transfer to League One side MK Dons. Thank God that he's gone. Um, this is the best news of 2023 and we're only like uh, two weeks into the new year. Jonathan Lecco was just stealing a wage at this club. Absolutely stealing a wage at this club. Like, he scored a good goal against Norwich in the League Cup. And to be fair, it actually was a good goal. But that's all he'd done. That's all he'd done. We got him from West Brom. And there was a lot of promise with Lecco when he first came to the football club. There was, you know, the fans, Blues fans were optimistic that he could do something while he's with us. But nope, it's not worked out. He's had a loan spell to Charlton. Completely flopped there. Come back, had a couple of uh, had a couple of appearances off the bench. Sorry, this season, but all in all, this is one of the biggest flops, one of the most pointless transfers that we have made as a football club. What was the point? There's there's a reason why West Brom actually wanted to get rid of him in the first place. So yeah, Jonathan Lecco is gone. What does that mean for Blues moving forward? Well, it, it means that there's a there's a player that's um, not on the wage bill, not on the wage budget anymore. Look, we're doing we're doing okay as a football club so far. We're getting rid of the deadwood. That's what we need to do. But yeah, I mean, how much did uh, MK Dons pay for Lecco? Probably a pack of corn cornflakes, a pack of cornflakes, a pack of quavers. I don't even know. But yeah. Um, then what does this mean? What does this mean um, for Blues? So, Lecco has gone. We have got now Dini, Jukovic, Hogan. Three strikers. Does that mean now in the joining transfer window, we're going to bring in a striker? Are we going to recall some cost growth from Plymouth? Personally, I don't know. I don't know. Should we actually recall Sam Cosgrove? I, don't, I, I want us to get a decent striker. We definitely need a striker. But are we going to do it? And especially in January. Who knows what's going to happen. But yeah. Um, I wish him well. Like normally I don't. Um, I don't normally celebrate a player leaving. But this is a this is a rare occasion really. Because um, yeah. He has been so abysmal. It is, it is hard to believe how bad he's been. 99% 99 of people watching this video. Will probably have done a better job than Lecco. One goal in like 50 games at the club. Yeah, thank God he's gone. And Ivan Sunic is still at the... I'm just going to bring him up for the sake of it. We've got one one out, Lecco. Ivan Sunic has got to go next in the summer. We've got to get him off. We've got to flog him off. But the thing is, we paid £8 million for him. So we're not, we're not even getting half of that. We're not even getting half of that. But yeah, anyway... Let's see if we can hit 100 likes and we keep on on TV here. Make sure to like, share and also subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this news. And yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can win tomorrow. Big game tomorrow. We've got to get three points. We can't afford to lose four in a row. Because the pressure is going to be on, isn't it? Anyway, keep right on.